Okay, boys and girls, let's put on our big girl panties and our big boy underoos and understand what I mean by $600 a month out of pocket for my living expenses. You know how you see videos of people talking about if you move to Vietnam or Thailand or what cities and states in the country you can live for $1,000 a month? Obviously, there are variables. Obviously, you pay insurance, and that depends on your income bracket, and if you've had cancer before, and how many are in your family, etc. Obviously, there are groceries. Obviously, I'm riding in an RV, so there are tires and awnings and oil changes. Duh. My point is, people say to me all the time, ah, oh, traveling in an RV must be so expensive. I could never afford that. Well, that's only true if you believe it is. I mean, hey, you know, Ford said, if you believe you can, you can. If you believe you can't, you can't. So whatever you believe is true for you. However, my car payment and my house payment is less than $500 a month. And I paid for my membership a couple of years ago, but because the average RV spot, like overnight parking, could be anywhere from $30 to $150, let's call it $75 on average, let's be really conservative, $50 on average per night, that would be $1,500 a month if you paid by the night or if you even paid by the month in some places it's anywhere from six eight hundred dollars a month to three thousand a month depending on where you are and what time of year it is so the membership that i paid for a couple of years ago paid for itself in the first year now the maintenance that i pay for this membership is a hundred dollars a month so I pay out of pocket for my vehicle my house and my rent space less than six hundred dollars a month do I have health insurance do I have car insurance do I eat a little something something yeah I have a dog too and I could do a video about how I got my dog for $25 because she was she was 25 bucks at the rescue but she has cost me about a thousand since then in vet bills and allergy medicine and food and getting her set up to be able to ride on my scooty scoot and 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 so you know, look, take everything with a grain of salt. There's always variables and other incidentals. But if you want to live full time on the road in an RV, as a matter of fact, when I first got on the road, this is a 2018 Chateau Thor, 30 foot class C, and it was two years old when I got it it was like 75,000 but the first RV I got was a, a um, leprechaun coach co a coachman leprechaun and I called that one because leprechaun made me think of um, magically delicious so I thought of magic Mike and I called my first rig magic Mike and somebody said oh you're a speaker do you mean microphone I'm like yeah that's what I mean, magic mic, microphone. But that first rig, the year was 2000 for the, for the vehicle. It was 20 years old when I got it in 2020, 2021, January 2021. And I paid 8,000 cash for it. And it was immaculate on the inside. I mean, brand new on the, it was brand new the year 2000. So it was kind of dated. 
but it was immaculate. Now, it had a little bit of water damage on the outside, and the roof was questionable, and when I had the oil change, the guy showed me the oil in the pan with thousands of shards of metal in it, which is a really bad red flag. So, after about a year, when I knew I loved what I was doing, I traded that rig in on this rig. But before I got that, I would have been doing this video talking about being on the road for $100 a month because I didn't have a payment. I didn't have a payment with that rig. So, I upgraded. And now I have a $500 a month payment. And that actually also includes 24-hour uh, road service and I have used that several times to get them to help me figure out all kinds of stuff Boy have I learned I'll do some videos on some of the stuff that I've learned since I've been on the road So I get everybody wants to show how smart they are Don't forget there's insurance Don't forget you got to pay for maintenance. What about your groceries? Duh Thanks, Mr. and Mrs. Obvious about all that, but stay tuned for looking at the ways things do work and looking for how things can be reasonable in cost. And, you know, the membership that I have, I've got several memberships um, that I paid for to be able to stay for free. And I'm not talking about boondocking. Now, I have stayed many a night in a Walmart parking lot on my way through to somewhere or in between reservations and things like that for one night at a time. But I'm not talking about boondocking. I'm talking about being hooked up. Power, water, sewer, safe, could leave my door unlocked for $100 a month. So, you can't beat it. And I just want to share for those of you who say, oh my God, I want to get on the road. I want to do that too. Well, then do it. You can do it. It can be cheaper than how you're living right now. It is the way to go. And I see people all the time with five kids. Five kids is extreme and it's not real common, but I see eight bicycles lined up outside. I've seen YouTubers with three kids that are living the life. Man, are those kids getting a life experience. If I had known about this 20 years ago, of course, 20 years ago, um, when I was in real estate or had a, you know, a traditional business or J-O-B, not a J-O-B, I've never really been an employee, but traditional business, I couldn't have just gotten on the road. But I wish I had known about it then because my daughter and I, we would have seen a lot of stuff and she would be really, really worldly by now. So no matter how many kids you have, I've seen people with three and four hundred pound dogs in a rig this size. So... If you say you can, you can. If you say you can't, you can't. If you find reasons it won't work, it won't work. And if you look for reasons that it can work, guess what? 